Engineer 775 at a local grist mill in my area. And it made me think about uh, my grandfather who used to, well he ran a lumber company, but when he was growing up, they used to saw their lumber um, by a water powered saw. It was a water powered mill. And every time I go by this, it makes me think of how to harness this. This used to be a functioning grist mill, it's not now. You can see the gate for the flues for the pipe. Anyway, um, time to time in my life, I'm all, I will haul uh, some lumber or work with a logger or a local sawmill. And I'm taking uh, some old white pine beams that I know look pretty bad on the outside, but they make some beautiful paneling on the inside. So probably salvage at least uh, two-thirds of what's on this trailer. And I had another load. I go into a buddy's house who's got a wood miser saw. And he does great work, great timber framer. And so I'm just here to, I'm going to take this before it rots further into the ground, take it to the sawmill. But every time I go by the mill here, it makes me think of my grandfather's water-powered sawmill. And uh, it's, it's enjoyable to be able to harvest trees, take it to the, to the mill, get them sawed. I did it with my dad. My grandfather did it. And I do it from time to time. I'm not a logger, but it's nice to be able to saw your own wood for your various projects. I'm building a generator shed now and so some of this wood's going to go on that. So it saves a lot of money and uh, that's it. So I'm used to hauling uh, a lot of stuff, hay, wood, tractors on my gooseneck and uh, that's what I'm doing today. All right. Nice to have friends that have a sawmill. Um, Rick has helped me a bunch on different little projects. So I'm going to, I had some white pine beams that I'm gonna we're sawing up for trim on his wood miser mill. I'll show you that. Sawing on a wood miser. Got a bunch of wood here. Left over from the farm. Cut some rafters. Last one. Okay, I was able to get my old white pine beams sawed up today. I was very thankful for that. We're going to use that for trimming out the barn. Cool thing about taking your lumber to sawmills, you can make what you need. Custom fit beams to match uh, the PT here. Uh, rafters, nice two inch thick rafters. Swooping brackets. Uh, decking, that decking here for the for the ceiling, trim boards. Uh, yeah, some of this is convent, you know, T111. And we're gonna put trim boards over it, and uh, you can do soffits. So the nice thing is, you can custom cut whatever you need. We're gonna we're gonna trim out all that lumber right there is from the sawmill, and uh, so it's just nice to have that at, as a resource and have somebody that really knows what they're doing when it comes to using it and how to use it. So this lumber was 11 years old, the beams that we saw this out of. Um, so just very thankful to get some really good stuff. Nice little shed here to, I'm actually gonna put the gasifier under this building, just stuck the Jeep under it for today. But uh, gasifier is gonna go under here and this is gonna be my EMP proof generator shed when it finally gets done but a lot of the lumber um, just had kicking around in the form of uh, beams some 16 foot 8 by 8 uh, white pine beams that we just sawed up to what we needed trim boards rafters beams and things so anyway um, a wood miser sawmill and then I know there's others but that that saw that band saw Sawmill does an awesome, awesome job, and uh, hopefully finishes building up this week. And uh, here's some other rafters cut. You can see how the ends were all, all the, the beams that I had were getting really bad. So we just uh, we cut the cut the um, rod out of it, and you got a really nice weathered white pine. It just makes a nice looking trimmed out 
boxing here, soffit and fascia. Really nice stuff. Okay, uh, enough on the sawmill. It's Engineer 775 signing out. Beautiful morning. Spring is coming. Time to get this garden planted.